Good afternoon, I'm Ed Poswoli at Tripska, and uh, with us today for another webcast is Mike Beals. Mike is the head of North America for the Sato Group. Mike, welcome. Thank you. So let's start. What is the Sato Group? Sato Group is comprised of several different companies. Um, it has uh, a technology a company is part of the Sato Group. We do manufacturing of products um, for the auto ID industry. Uh, which, which stands for automatic identification and data collection. So in essence, tracking and tracing of anything. Uh, so give us an example of the type of product or the type of service that Sato would provide. So Sato would provide uh, for the retail industry, uh, we make uh, hang tags. Right. Uh, so for that's the clipped onto industry. the clothing. That would be on the clothing, both barcoded, mm -hmm. uh, because we are a pioneer in inventing the barcode thermal uh, system. And uh, so that's where the roots of the company started. Um, but then we also embed uh, an RFID, a radio frequency identification chip, inside this. So we would manufacture this product. Um, so for security purposes, somebody couldn't walk out with the shirt or the, the article of clothing? Security purposes are, are actually secondary, um, but they are an attribute of this. Uh, the main purpose is to track uh, style, color, size, inventory where the inventory. Control. I got it. Okay. And for real-time inventory. So it's it's very, very important now. Um, majority of the retail stores are now moving in this direction. Uh, so it's it's a, so a really a new wave globally that's happening. Give us another application just so people get an understanding of the broad approach of how this auto ID is used. Sure. Um, in the healthcare industry, um, we would put uh, a radio frequency chip on a sponge uh, that's used for surgery. So as the OR kit comes out and the OR kit's being scanned, if there is uh, any types of sponges or any types of um, utensils that are left, um, knives, um, um, didn't come back on the tray, let's say. Exactly. Right, right. If it was left in you, you could scan the body electronically and before the patient is sewn back up, we would know that this is still in there electronically and remove it. Uh, as each one of these are discarded, uh, we actually have a kick bucket, and that kick bucket reads by serial number each one that goes in. So wow. it's it's doing several things there. It's tracking inventory, it's uh, improving patient safety, mm -hmm. and it also is automating the billing cycle uh, accurately. And gotcha. So there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, uh, in the in, also in the in the pharmaceutical industry, we do it for um, the pharmacy actually places um, your prescription label. So we manufacture the prescription labels, uh, both on the hardware that we invent and develop, as well as the consumable and the software. Uh, so we provide a turnkey system. And ironically, even uh, we, we track blood um, electronically uh, to remove any types of errors, you know, human errors right. uh, in the system. And infant traffic, tracking uh, of the, on the anklet um, so as the uh, babies are born, uh, we make the wristbands for the healthcare industry. And to give you a wide um, range, we also will track pot stakes in plants or hang tags on trees. So as you can imagine, any industry that would require tracking and tracing, that's what we'd be involved in, everything from the software to the complete solution, even in your industry, tracking files. That's unbelievable. Let me switch gears with you. Sure. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, you're, you're in our building in 110 Tower. Right. Uh, in the beautiful offices. Uh, just the other day, you had Governor Scott down, uh, who uh, recognized the, the fact that Sada moved from Tennessee to, to Fort Lauderdale. Right. So when you were deciding on relocation, why Fort Lauderdale? We're a 75-year-old company, and we're in 26 countries with products in 90 countries. We chose Fort Lauderdale. One of the main reasons is the business community, specifically in Fort Lauderdale. Um, we realized that we could draw from an employee pool that was north of us to West Palm and south of us to Miami. Right. Uh, so that gave us a gr real good opportunity. Um, the other thing was the economic package that we received from the state uh, was attractive to bringing us here. You know, so we looked at multiple states, uh, New York, Chicago, um, Dallas, Texas, Silicon Valley, and, and Florida. So the incentive package was real important. Uh, the fact that, that we, we do have a, a pro-business government here uh, was, was very important to me. 
um, both both in the state and the city. Right. Uh, the so city of Fort Lauderdale also. Very, very much. So the city of Fort Lauderdale was the the business uh, environment. Um, the officials want want business to be thriving. Um, it's not known for a high tech uh, city, but what we have found uh, surprisingly that we we've been able to uh, pull a nice resource pool of the technology companies that are located here down in South Florida, and we've found those resources. So uh, we've been very happy with uh, Fort Lauderdale in particular. And how many employees will you employ here in Fort Lauderdale? Initially, we started out with with the goal of hitting 35 because we launched May 29th. Right. Um, so by the end of the year, we have already met that number. Um, we have another requisition out for up to another 60. Uh, and our goal is to expand in, after phase one, which we've just completed, into phase two. Um, we'd like to target another 100 employees. So uh, business has been great. We've had great partnerships uh, so far with other businesses in the right, area, right. and that has surprised us uh, because it's been so rapid, so fast. So the the boat uh, the boat industry, the tourist industry, all those industries are now looking at the applications of some of your some of your products and yeah, services. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, I mean, um, ironically, the marine industry has been one that we in the past have never focused on. So it's opened up a new vertical for our company. It's tough not to focus on it in Fort Lauderdale. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other is aeronautics. Okay. Uh, tracking of the small parts. Right. Um, very, very high value parts. I mean, like and, an executive or a Fort Lauderdale International. Correct. Yeah. There's Perry. so many aeronautic companies that are located here. Um, I was I was unaware of that. Um, I knew there were several, but I didn't realize there were a lot of headquarters here that have reached out to us and contacted us specifically for our technology to track the small parts. Right. And uh, we manufacture, you know, high end cabinets to track small parts. We currently do it uh, for large airliners today, um, but not in Fort Lauderdale. Now that we've moved here, they've they've reached out to us and and are interested now in the technology. Now you mentioned those small cabinets, just so that our viewers understand, because I've seen the demonstration. Essentially, if a part does not get back into the cabinet, the cabinet automatically tells you that there's a part missing. Correct, yes. Each part has a specific label that's barcoded and has a chip embedded. And so as those parts are removed, there's business logic that's talking to your host system right. that allows you to keep up with every item that's removed and every item that's put back. And it also looks at the expiration dates. It's also looking at what's been calibrated, not calibrated. So there's a host of business attributes that are built around the, the cabinet. And we customize that specifically for your business. So it, it eliminates the human error. And, so, and that's our goal. So the applications of something like that, a tracking system, the auto ID, what you're talking about, Correct. is really limitless. Absolutely. So Fort Lauderdale, you've, you've moved to Fort Lauderdale and... Uh, and Lifestyle-wise, was that an impact? Yeah, lifestyle was very important um, to not only myself, but to the employees. We wanted our staff to be in an area that they enjoyed, um, that they could come to every day and be proud of. And the city offers so much, um, you know, from, from you know, different types of dining areas um, to the ease. Obviously, the weather uh, was a big factor as well. Um, so it has not been hard to attract employees who want to relocate within our, our company. Uh, we've got 55 subsidiaries around the world, and I get an inquiry every day from a host of employees internally that want to relocate to this area um, because they've had an opportunity to see the pictures and right. go online. Uh, so Fort Lauderdale offers so much, um, you know, work, live, and play. Uh, I heard that as a slogan, and, and I can honestly say that, that I live the slogan now, now that I've relocated here to Fort Lauderdale. Well, I, I appreciate that. And on behalf of everybody here at Trip Scott and, and frankly, the greater business community in Fort Lauderdale, I welcome Mike and I welcome to Sato uh, to, to greater Fort Lauderdale in South Florida. We really do, uh, we really are happy that you're here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.